to enforce the polymorphism what you can do is use interface either interface or abstract class we haven't talked about abstract class but it's really uh, same as interfaces but an abstract class could have definitions with other methods but an interface will never have any definition of any method that's the difference and nothing is different than the contracts the contracts implementation are really same if you don't implement the abstract class uh, contracts you will get an error in the compile time so let's say you have a class and you really want to enforce the polymorphism of these uh, talk methods so how you can do it you can do it by abstract class just put the abstract keyword in front of your class and uh, make a method public abstract so that it must be implemented by the developer who implements the class or inherits from this class that's how you're going to enforce the polymorphism and good thing about abstract class is it could have definitions and interface couldn't have and we're going to see some uh, real world examples how you could use interface and abstract class in the strategy pattern but uh, for that time being just keep it simple let's see some coding previously you have seen that uh, to uh, do the polymorphism what we did is put the method as virtual keyword in the in the base class so to work with abstract class we just put the abstract keyword and put the method as abstract must put the public if you don't put public it will not work so if now that this class is implementing not implementing this method see the error that it's not implemented oh so we you have to remove the uh, definitions as well so remove the definitions so if we just go and build it you'll see there that it doesn't implement the what method so this is how you're going to enforce the polymorphism in your code so we just keep it as it was that's it so abstract class versus interface it's a very interesting thing and you should know those these are very important so abstract class can implement uh, or share common implementation but uh, on the other hand interface couldn't have any implementation it will only keep properties and the method names that's it and single inheritance supported only that's really downside downside of abstract method and a class can inherit multiple classes it's really upside for the interfaces and members can have different access modifiers and this is also an upsides that all the members could be different uh, all the mem members shouldn't have to have the same modifier as public you could have some hidden layers and you uh, in the interface you really have to have all the members as public it's really a downside so make contain constructor destructor public prop, uh, properties functions and so on contracts contracts will be the abstract methods and for VB it is must inherit if I'm not wrong because I have done VB very long time ago so uh, the abstract instead of the abstract if you're doing VB coding uh, put the must inherit keyword that's it uh, and may only contain properties and function functions contracts that's it nothing more but it can also hold implementation of functions rather than just the contracts 
So these are the upsides and downsides. Now we're going to talk about the strategy pattern. And it is going to be a very good example for what you have learned throughout this session. And why we need this? Over the years, I have seen a lot of hardcore developers overuse or overdue inheritance. So what happens is uh, eventually they will end up with a very inflexible system which is very hard to modify even though they implemented our, all the OOP concept but uh, they design the system in such a way or is a relationship they follow is a relationship that much hard way so that the system becomes so inflexible that it becomes very hard to modify or if you change in one place it, the system breaks the whole system breaks that's a really problem that's really against our modular approach so let's see an example of birth simulator to address some problems so let's say we have a birth simulator, abstract class. The abstract class is named as abstract bar. That's it. So the class have some properties like the color of the board or how it is big, something like that, and have some properties like uh, display method. The display method should be unique for every bar, that how they display. And the fly method should be void and it will print that they are flying or not flying and speak method should be uh, how they are speaking that's it so we are really interested in the uh, display method but let's see that how it goes the how the design goes so let's say that I want to implement a parrot BART class parrot class from the BART abstract class so what I did is made a concrete parrot class from the abstract class and then uh, write the display method and when I print the display method I see the parrot object so let's say I have another bird which is penguin and I inherit from bird and when I display it I see the penguin but penguins have a special ability that they cannot uh, sorry, they cannot fly and but they can swim. So they have special ability ability They can swim, but they cannot fly. So I'm really making the fly method to private and We really have to write this speak methods differently because all of the words speak differently Let's say we have ostrich and same thing display method we have to write ostrich do not fly so we are uh, changing the fly method somehow and uh, changing the speak method as well so let's say we have a rubber bird and rubber bird don't fly don't speak display as a rubber bird that's it so what you have seen in this example you have seen that many places I have to private fly so instead of private fly if there is a complexity in the method I really have to overdo all of these methods in every places as you can see that in most places I have to rewrite the three methods at all because we have the two different kinds of bird so assume that here we're talking about bird but in a business application you are going to have different kinds of object bird have some similarities but in a business application you have very less similarities so your what is going to happen is and you are end up writing the every code or every function again and again so it's a really bad solution so let's see our observation in a simple perspective view it's a good design but there are a lot of code duplication in speak fly behaviors as you've seen and we don't want our code uh, or we don't want our code to be wet we want our code to be dry as much as possible and think if you have 100 methods in a class it could possible some business apps really have 100 methods in a class so if you have 
So if you really doing such things, so what will happen is you will end up writing these hundred methods in hundred different places. So that would be really 